If you could have a coach help you identify and focus on what's important, would that accelerate your success? If you answered yes, then this podcast is for you. Each week, my guests, professional coaches, will share one actionable piece of advice to help you level up wherever you need it most. My name is Chris Ippolito, and welcome to the Get Coached Podcast. This is a bonus episode, and I'm recording it because I'm kind of procrastinating from doing work. And it got me thinking, um, because I've been spent, I've spent, let's see here, uh, I don't know, three, four hours doing something that is incredibly tedious, boring, and monotonous. And every No, I shouldn't say it this way, but there is so much of my being that wants to not do it, uh, just avoid it, uh, indulge in like playing games or, or, or reading a book or working out, literally do anything but this task. And I keep catching myself having these thoughts and reminding myself that it's, it's sometimes these painful, <laughs> I know it sounds silly to say it, but like these, these discomforting moments that you have to push through to, to test your character, to develop your ter- character and, and to get to where you ultimately need to go. So I, I wanted to record this quick bonus episode. This probably won't be very long. I just really wanted to share my thoughts and on this. And uh, like I said, take a bit of a break from this really boring and monotonous task that I have to do and and just record this, share my thoughts and and even get like a little personal as far as like what I'm thinking and why I don't like it and seeing if maybe you resonate with this and 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 just know that you're not alone and, and really just keep pushing through. But for me, a big part of the reason why I don't enjoy doing these types of tasks is that I I feel like I'm not learning anything. And so that, that in itself is, is what's making it more difficult to, to push forward and and do the work. But then because I catch it and, and I notice that I'm thinking that way, I just quickly reframe it in my mind as the lesson to be learned is the lesson of discipline and the lesson that sometimes you have to do the, this kind of work that you don't enjoy, that you don't really like. Um, and especially as you're growing a business as, as I am right now, uh, you just, you just got to get it done. And through that experience, there are lessons to be learned. They just may not be as evident, uh, or as, uh, as, uh, immediately rewarding, which is, um, goes to the the current culture of immediate gratification that we have um, and and not being able to delay gratification. So in a sense, really what I'm experiencing and struggling with is being able to delay gratification uh, and and do the necessary work, the dull work, the boring work so that I can once that's done, then I can get on to the things that are more gratifying which I, I love learning, which is why uh, when I'm, I'm doing some t- type of task or work that is new to me, but I'm learning and I, I enjoy the learning aspect of it, even though it could be incredibly frustrating. Um, I, I, I look at it as, as, as long as I've, I'm developing a skill and I just, I find it really difficult to, sometimes identify that I'm developing a skill when I'm doing tasks like what I've had to do today, which is basically just research. All I'm doing is looking, uh, doing some kind of competitive research, uh, as well as research for, um, ways to help promote, uh, my clients. But, uh, it's not, it's not really fun. It's, it's very tedious, Anyways, I'm repeating myself, so I won't even get into that. But yeah, I just wanted to say, you know what? It's that's a whole that's part of the journey. Whether you're growing a business or you're you're personally developing, is there's going to be these 
things that you don't, they, you just despise them. There's nothing about them that you enjoy doing, but the challenge and the lesson learned there is, is it's a lesson of how to reframe your thinking and change your thinking such that you can start looking at the benefits and the positives of it. So it, it's it's almost in a sense of practicing discipline, practicing gratitude, uh, and practicing delayed gratification. So there you go. You know what? I just helped myself by thinking about this out loud is, is that that's what I'm learning. And now I'm going to end this episode and get back to work. And I hope that uh, somebody, anybody out there takes value in this. Um, and, and I plan on doing these types of episodes from time to time, maybe more frequently as thoughts like this kind of pop into my head as I'll just jump on and record a quick episode um, and, and just call it a bonus episode and basically release them right away. So if you enjoy it, let me know and, uh, uh, and, and I'll just keep doing it. And if you don't let me know, I'm probably still going to keep doing it. Either way, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and best of luck and in whatever it is you're doing. And I'm rambling, so take care. Thanks for listening to the Get Coach Podcast. If you're looking for more information, you can head over to our website, which is getcoachedpodcast.com. You'll find the show notes for this and every other episode there. And if getting actionable advice every week from professional coaches is something you want more of, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes.